Hi, welcome to the Culinary Classroom. I'm Michelle Bisbee with the Maine Department of Education's Child Nutrition Programs. In today's video, we're going to be talking about a couple of different USDA foods, with the main focus being on USDA pulled pork. USDA foods are a wonderful resource for child nutrition programs. They help the schools lower their food costs while offering a wonderful variety of options to the students. USDA foods can be used in multiple different ways. In today's video, we're going to talk about the different ways that USDA pulled pork can be utilized. The first entree I'm going to show you is a USDA pulled pork barbecue sandwich. The first thing to make note of is how the food credits. According to the product information sheets from USDA, pulled pork is two ounces of meat for a one ounce equivalent. So for our meal today, we're going to want four ounces of meat so that we hit that two ounce equivalent mark. So the first thing I'm going to do is get my scale out. Want to make sure the scale is zeroed. And then I'm going to use a half cup portion control disher to see how much a half a cup of pulled pork weighs. This way, when I'm going through the assembly process, I can work a little bit more efficiently if I know that I can just use this scoop. So I have a fairly heaping scoop here. Put it into my container. I'm just under four ounces, so I'm going to add just a little bit more. So that tells me that if I do a nice heaping scoop of pulled pork, I will hit that two ounce equivalent mark. One thing to be mindful of though is when you're going through assembly, you might want to stop every so often and just double check your scoop weight to make sure you're still hitting that mark. So now we're going to go ahead and build our sandwich. I have a wonderful whole grain rich bun here that will give me a two ounce equivalent grain. Got my pulled pork, I'll scoop that right on the bun. Now at this point, you could add a little extra barbecue sauce or you can have it available on a condiment station for your students. There is some mix in here so you get a nice barbecue flavor, but you never know, those kids might want just a little bit more. And one of the best things to have for a side with barbecued pork, pulled pork is coleslaw. It brightens up the plate, it has a nice bright flavor. So I'm gonna go ahead and use another half cup disher and scoop my coleslaw right onto that plate. And there you have a wonderful reimbursable meal. Just offer it with some nice fresh fruit and a glass of milk. So the second thing we're going to have is a macaroni and cheese bowl. Here I have made my very own homemade mac and cheese utilizing shredded cheddar. You can get shredded cheddar cheese through USDA. So that would be two USDA, USDA food products in one meal, which greatly reduces your food cost per meal. The recipe for this macaroni and cheese is available on our website on our culinary classroom page and there's also an instructional video along with it as well. Crediting for the macaroni and cheese is a one cup serving will give you a two ounce equivalent meat meat alternate. So because I'm coupling this with pulled pork, I'm only going to go with a half cup serving. Of course for your high school students you can go ahead and go along with that one cup serving because they might just be a little bit hungrier. So I'm going to take a half a cup of my macaroni and cheese. You know, spread it out in the bowl a little bit here. And then I am only going to take about a quarter of a cup of that barbecue pulled pork to top. Now with a little bit of a drizzle of barbecue sauce, some fresh fruit and a milk, you have another wonderful meal utilizing two different USDA products, one of which in both meals. Enjoy.